Did Jesus Die? An Interpretation of the Holy Bible Some imagine that Jesus never lived, so never died. Others teach that God took him alive into heaven without dying. A few say that he died and is still dead. What is the scriptural evidence that Jesus died? 1. The ancient prophets foresaw that the Messiah would die as a sacrifice to God. 2. Jesus himself announced his imminent death and resurrection in Jerusalem. 3. Eyewitnesses recorded how Jesus was killed and rose back to life. 4. Roman government officials affirmed that Jesus had died. 5. Return to life, Jesus himself asserted that he had died and was risen. 6. Jesus himself explained why he had to die. 7. Christians have celebrated Jesus' death for two millennia. 8. Millions have experienced new life by faith in Jesus' sacrificial death. 1. The ancient scriptures foresaw that a righteous man would die as a sacrifice to God. By his knowledge shall the righteous one, my servant, make many to be accounted righteous, and he shall bear their iniquities. 2. Jesus himself announced his imminent death and resurrection in Jerusalem. As they were gathering in Galilee, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is about to be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him, and he will be raised on the third day. 3. Eyewitnesses recorded how Jesus was killed and rose back to life. You killed the author of life, whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses. 4. Roman government officials affirmed that Jesus had died. Festus laid Paul's case before the king, they had certain points of dispute with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus, who was dead, but whom Paul asserted to be alive. 5. Return to life, Jesus himself asserted that he had died and was risen. Jesus laid his right hand on me, saying, Fear not, I am the first and the last, and the living one. I died, and behold I am alive forevermore, and I have the keys of death and Hades. 6. Jesus himself explained why he had to die. Everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Thus it is written, that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations. 7. Christians have celebrated Jesus' death for two millennia. This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. 8. Millions have experienced new life by faith in Jesus' sacrificial death. We know that our old self was crucified with him in order that the body of sin might be brought to nothing, so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. Conclusion. The consensus of scriptural evidence affirms that Jesus died on a Roman cross, and that he rose back to life on the third day. None of the verses cited was ever changed, modified, corrupted, or abrogated. <laughs>